Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So we've kind of talked a little bit about what's made the coaching effective. So let's move on to the this next one here. So as a result of coaching, what are actually some of the outcomes that you've noticed? Um, I've gained followers. I've tried new things. I don't like being on camera, but I did a whole series being on camera and it got great outcome, a lot of interaction. Um, had some people tell me how helpful it was and I'm actually looking forward to doing the next series. <laughs> um, what else? Just different tools of when I'm feeling like I can't do it, then I can turn back to the, the stuff that I've written about. Um, you have emailed me content that I can use, um, helping me through the usage of Canva and making sure that I take some of the content that I want and create it so it's a physical copy and not just things that I'm talking about, but if someone actually wants a physical copy, they can have that as well. Um, let's see. Being more organized. That's also been a big thing, too, being more organized. Yeah. The other thing is, I think you've honed your skill set about what to do when you need to be courageous right? So that's like, it's kind of intangible in a way. But if you can get to that point where you're courageous, and then you take the next step, it's like, that's where your power is. And you've practiced that over and over and over. So now that coming to that point of where you've got to do that uncomfortable thing you've done a whole bunch of uncomfortable things before like that's what happens when we're building a business when we're becoming something that we're you know we've never been before is yeah we've got to do uncomfortable things but then we kind of get used to it right like it's like oh is this okay yeah I'm going to be scared yeah it's going to suck yeah but when it's done it'll be good right <laughs> like mm -hmm. so just that exactly. learning that piece is big and you can apply it anywhere 